Good morning, Atomians. I'm Lizel S. Valia from Ariel Marikina at Jaja Center. Ayan po. So gusto ko lang pong ibahagi sa inyo ngayon kung bakit o yung mga rason kung bakit ko pinili po si Atomy. And with that, kailangan po muna nating malaman kung ano yung flow of distribu distribution and flow of money. Okay po? So... Um, ngayon, papag-aralan po natin kung saan po ba yung flow of money and flow of distribution sa mga sumusunod. Una po is yung traditional market, supermarket, TV home shopping, private enterprise or internet shopping mall, and then platform business po. So, una. Okay. So, first is our traditional market. So, Uh, marami pong traditional market po dito sa Pilipinas. Ano po? So, ano po yung reason kung bakit yung mga tao pumupunta po doon sa traditional market? Ang reason po is because of various item. So, ganito lang po yan. Eh. Tingnan po natin itong uh, ito. So, meron tayong seller or store ng shoes. Meron tayong store ng clothes. Meron tayong store ng rice. And meron tayong store ng fruits. So, ang mangyayari niyan, yung owner ng store ng shoes, magbebenta siya ng shoes doon sa may-ari ng clothes. Kasi ito namang uh, store ng clothes, wala rin naman siyang shoes. So, ang gagawin niya, magbebenta and then bibili rin naman siya sa, ng fruits, ng rice, and ng clothes. So, yung flow of money is nandoon sa mga merchants, seller sila, pero nagbabay din. So, yung flow of money po ay nandito lang paikot-ikot. Yung pera, uh, napupunta kay sa may-ari ng fruits, and then yung pera ni fruits, napupunta sa shoes, and then clothes, and then rice. So, ganun po yung sistema sa traditional market. Doon din po yung flow of money. Umiikot lang po dyan. And next is supermarket po. Yung supermarket naman, the reason for crowding is various items and cultural life. For example po, yung theater or playroom or etc. So, bakit mas gusto nila minsan pumunta doon sa supermarket rather than uh, traditional market? Kasi po, uh, pag dinala nila yung anak nila doon, tapos bibili po sila. So, Da dadalhin na nila sa playroom then babalikan na lang po nila so mas convenient po sila and then or pwedeng pagkatapos mag grocery pwede na silang manood ng sine kaya naman po ganun yung nangyayari but ano po ba yung flow of money dyan so ang mangyayari po yung mga consumers will flock on the uh, supermarket so ang mangyayari nyan is doon na sila bumibili ng lahat so yung may-ari naman ng supermarket na yan hindi na niya po na ilalabas yung pera kasi meron na po siya lahat kaya naman po nandito lang yung flow of money so kung ang flow of money ay nandun lang sa mark sino ba ang may-ari ng mark na to or supermarket na to syempre mas mayaman na po talaga yung may-ari ng supermarket na ito kaya naman po since mayaman na siya nandun na po lahat yung pera doon sa kanyang um, Uh, mart or sa kanyang uh, supermarket. So, ang mangyayari niyan, yung mga maliliit na uh, businesses na mga stores dun sa paligid ng tinayuan ng mart na yan, madidestruct na po sila. So, that will be the beginning of destruction of surrounding businesses. So, next po is yung ating TV home shopping. Usong-uso po yung mga TV home shopping ngayon. So, ano, uh, the reason for crowding is because of convenience. Siyempre naman, manonood ka lang po ng TV and then uh, pwede kang umorder, then da darating na agad yung o-orderin mo. So, pero nasaan po ba yung flow of money dito? Kasi ganito po yan eh. Yung producers po, mag-offer sila don sa TV home shopping ng mga products nila. And then, uh, ang gagawin ni TV home shopping, magbebenta siya para sa mga consumers, nagsasell siya sa mga consumers. So, saan mapupunta po yung pera doon? So, the flow of money will flows to the TV home shopping. Nandoon lang po yung pera. Wala nang babalik sa mga consumers. Okay? So, the advantage of TV home shopping is a convenient home deliver. So, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, tatawag ka lang, tas maya-maya, nandyan na po yung order mo. But we have also this advantage of TV home shopping kasi po, the fee is expensive. So, Uh, yun po yung disadvantage niya. And then next is, we have the private enterprise or internet shopping mall. Example po, meron kang sariling internet shopping mall. Okay, so the reason for crowding, bakit gustong gusto ng mga tao or mga consumers bumili dun sa internet shopping mall? It's because of convenience and alam naman po natin na affordable po yung price dun sa mga internet shopping mall. So, ang mangyayari niyan, yung internet shopping mall na yan, magbebenta lang siya sa mga 
consumers. Wala na rin siyang ibabalik doon sa mga consumers. And the money will flows to the internet shopping mall. Siyempre dito po, umiikot yung pera. Okay. So, anong mangyayari pag ganon? Kasi convenient na sila, affordable pa yung price compared doon sa supermarket. So, ang mangyayari po, consumers who used to buy in supermarkets are attracted to internet shopping malls because of courier service and low price. So, hindi na nga sila mapapagod, hindi na sila gagastos ng pamasahe, meron na kasing uh, courier service na didiretso na sa kanilang bahay, and then affordable pa yung price compared doon sa supermarket. Kaya dito na po sila nagpa-flock sa internet shopping mall. Okay, next. The re uh, next is a uh, platform business. So the reason for crowding is also convenient po. And the flow of money, syempre po dito lang siya umiikot dito sa platform business. Later on po if uh, Ipapakilala ko kung ano yung mga platform businesses ngayon na napapanahon dito sa buong mundo. Okay? So now, let's compare the personal enterprise or the internet shopping mall, the differences between sa mga platform business natin. Example of platform business are Grab, Uber, Airbnb, Amazon, or dito sa Pilipinas po, yung Lazada, yung Shopee, uh, yung Angkas, or etc etc sila po yung mga platform businesses but what are the difference between the two okay if you own personal enterprise enterprise or internet shopping mall na clothing store the owner of a clothing store opens an internet shopping mall and sells his clothes in stock so dapat marami ka pong stock ng halimbawa ang binuksan mo is clothing store na internet Uh, shopping mall. So, dapat marami kang stock para pag bumili po yung, yung, ano, yung uh, customer mo, agad kang may maipapadala sa kanila. So, uh, malaki rin po ang capital nito kasi kailangan mo ngang mag-on hand ng mga product po. So, all online stores currently in stock. Marami po silang stock so malaki po yung capital nila. But, in platform business, ang pagkakaiba po, ang platform business is just connect consumers and producers. Wala po silang mga stock na on hand. So katulad po ng Grab, kino-connect niya lang po yung drive, yung rider into the driver. So and then yung ganun din po yung Uber and sa Airbnb naman, kino-connect lang po niya yung mga gustong mag-rent ng bahay doon sa owner ng bahay na nagpaparent. And then yung Amazon naman or yung Lazada and Shopee, kino-connect niya yung mga consumers na gustong bumili ng iba't ibang various items na kailangan po nila. So Anong meron sa kanila? System lang po ang meron sa kanila. Wala silang stock. So, yun po yung tinatawag na platform business. Okay? So, current distribution has called the platform business. Ngayon po, yung distribution na ngayon na napapanahon is tinatawag na platform business. We are now buying things from platform companies. Di ba po? So, madalas bumibili na tayo online. Kaya naman po, sa mga platform companies po tayo bumibili. Then, if you do business now, you should do platform business. Okay po, kung gusto mong gumawa ng business, wag na po kayong mag-traditional. Kasi pag nag-traditional business kayo, malaki ang percentage na kung saan marami kayong kakumpitensya. And aside from that, maaaring nagsasayang lang kayo ng kapital dahil eventually, maaaring malugi rin. Hindi ko naman sinasabing 100%, pero ang napapanahon po na business ngayon ay hindi traditional business, but platform business. Kasi go going against the time is a shortcut to ruin. Anong ibig sabihin po nito? Kung ang napapanahon ay internet shopping mall or platform business pero nag-traditional business ka. So, maaaring malulugi ka doon. Kailangan yung napapanahon din mo yung gagawin mong business. Okay po ba? But the world of platform business is already complete. If you start now, it's too late. Pero kung kaya mo pong labanan yung Amazon, yung Google, yung Airbnb, Uber and Grab, etc. Kung kaya mo po silang labanan, pwede ka pang magtayo ulit ng panibagong platform business. But, um, ngayon po, almost complete na halos meron na po lahat or stable na po itong mga platform businesses na to. And now, uh, ngayon po, how do platform companies make money? Paano sila gum uh, kumikita dito, yung mga platform companies po? Okay, so it's because of the ad revenue. So tens of thousands of advertisers will flock when people flock. So kung maraming tao doon sa platform uh, business na yon. Siyempre po, marami rin yung gustong gumawa ng ad or patalastas po. So, 
uh, ang nangyayari po dito sa platform business, so that much advertising revenue comes from the platform companies. Kasi kinoconnect po ng platform business yung people who want to sell something, services or any products, i-coconnect niya po doon sa people who want to buy products or to get the service. Example po yung YouTube, di ba entertainment po yan. So, kinoconnect niya yung mga taong, mga entertainer, kinoconnect niya doon sa mga taong gustong uh, manood or gustong ma-entertain. Yung katulad ng nasabi ko rin kanina, yung Airbnb po, kinoconnect niya yung uh, taong gustong magparent doon sa magre-rent. So, ganun po yung platform business na tinatawag. Okay? So, now, kung ang present business is called the platform business, syempre, meron pa po tayong magiging future business. Ano po kaya yung magiging future business? So, if you want to succeed, you need to change first. Okay? Kailangan mong magbago. Magbago ng pananaw na ang panahon ngayon ay internet information age na kaya kailangan magbago na rin po yung pananaw mo. And then, wait for the time to change. Antayin mong magbago na sumasabay ka sa panahon or sa generation. Now, what is the business next to platform business? Ano po kaya yung business uh, na next into platform business? Okay, malalaman po natin yan as we go on through our lecture po. Okay, so uh, let's compare the station and the platform. Yung station po kasi na to yung tinatawag na mga traditional businesses and platform businesses. Okay, so what are the characteristics and differences? Okay, sa station po or sa mga uh, yung mga traditional business, kahit sinong tao, iba't ibang tao doon nagka-crowd sila or nagpa-flock. Parang ano lang 'yan eh sa MRT or LRT kung saan sila papasok, doon po sila uh, nagpa-flock. And then sa platform naman, kung napapansin niyo, kung gusto niyo mag-member sa isang platform, kailangan kayong merong membership. So, lahat ng nagpa-flock doon sa uh, platform business na yon members po sila lahat, kaya sila nakakapasok doon sa website. So, example, kung gusto mong makakonect ng ride and rider, parang ganun, papas mag magme-member ka doon sa Grab or etc. etc. po. And then, dito sa uh, traditional business, many types of business right form. While in platform, manufacturer sell, manufacturers sell products through the platform platform ginagamit nila yung platform para mag uh, yung mga manufacturer mag-sell ng product or mag-sell ng services okay and dito offline sila may mga physical store sila but in the platform puro online po yung business na nandito okay so that is the those are the characteristics and differences pag traditional business and platform business now People who consume are consumers. Ang tawag po natin sa mga taong nagko-consumption or nagko-consume are consumers po. So, platform companies make money from consumers' purchasing power. So, saan po ba kumikita rin yung mga platform businesses? Kumikita po sila doon sa consumers' purchasing power. Kung uh, magagaling mag-purchase or mag-consume uh, mag yung mga tao, so mas kumikita po yung mga platform companies. Now, how platform companies recruited members? Paano ba po yung mga platform companies na nagre-recruit ng mga members? Okay, so kung alam nyo kung paano sila nagre-recruit, then we can predict what the business will look like after the platform. So, kung alam mo kung paano nagre-recruit yung mga platform ngayon, like yung mga nabanggit na platform businesses kanina, then malalaman mo na rin po kung ano po yung next na business aside from platform business. Okay? So, now let's study about the flow of time po. In the past, manufacturing was concentrated on money because it was a scarce period. Now is a time of overflow Money is in circulation. Okay, so, nung mga unang panahon po, uh, yung may manufacturing yung ma maraming kumikita dito. Example po, yung maraming uh, mga factories, sila po yung kumikita. Pero sa ngayon po, yung napapanahon ngayon, nasa information stage na po tayo. So, money is in circulation. However, money rushes to big corporations such as large discount stores and franchises. Pero, ang problema dyan, Yung pera na nagsisirculate, hindi nasisirculate sa mga mahihirap, kundi nasisirculate siya doon sa malalaking korporasyon na dati ng mayaman or yung mga malalaking franchises na dati na rin pong mayaman. So, anong nangyayari pag ganun? Hindi nag-flow yung money ng tama doon lang sa malalaking korporasyon at malalaking discount store. So, anong mangyayari? In the end, 
the poor become poorer and the rich become richer. Lalong hihirap yung mga mahihirap and then yung mayaman. Lalong yung mayaman kasi doon nang nagsisirculate yung money sa kanila. And then, this is the principle of capitalist market. Now, presently, after all, consumers are forced to go to cheap and good. Siyempre po lahat naman ng consumers ang gusto nila. Uh, cheap yung product. I mean, cheap nga, pero yung quality ng product ay napakaganda. Siyempre, lahat naman ng consumers gusto, gawin, uh, gusto yung ganun, di po ba? So, what if you could profit poor consumers? Poor consumers. Halimbawa, meron tayong business na nakakapag-profit sa mga mahihirap na consumers. So, example, if simply buying can make money for consumers. So, example, magbabay lang sila pero may babalik sa kanila or magbe-benefit sila kasi may babalik sa kanilang pera. Paano kung may business na ganun? If this happens, consumers will flock as time goes by and the economy gets harder. So, ang mangyayari niyan, kapag may ganong business, so, syempre, doon na sila, doon sa makikinabang din sila or may kikitain din sila habang bumibili sila. So, and uh, as maaaring mag ang ekonomi natin in the future will become harder. Okay? So, nowadays, people's dream is to become a YouTuber. Halos lahat po ng mga tao ngayon gustong maging YouTuber. Tama po ba? So, bakit? Ano kaya yung rason kung bakit? Why do so many people want to be a YouTuber among so many platform business? Diba, ang daming platform businesses, pero ang gusto nila is maging YouTuber. The reason is, yung ibang platform businesses po kasi, existing platform companies take all the advertising revenue. Sa kanila lang po yung mga advertising revenue. But, sa YouTube po, the YouTube shares ad revenue with individuals who uploaded videos. So, kung nag-upload ka doon sa YouTube, then uh, pwede kang sharean nila ng uh, ad revenue doon sa in-upload mo. Kung marami kang subscribers and uh, kung maraming views yung in-upload mo. So, that is the reason for the YouTube rush. It's because of the individual profit. Hindi lang sinusulo ni YouTube yung ad revenue, unlike sa mga ibang uh, platform business, kundi binabahagi nila kung sino man po yung nag-upload ng video. Okay? So, now, uh, present, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, yung present is... Uh, platform business po yung napapanuhan ngayon but in the future we have another business na papatok po sa uh, buong mundo so is there a sense now na iintindihan po ba natin yung mga pagkakaiba ng bawat isa at saka yung bawat uh, businesses and yung present and yung magiging future so what do you think is the style will the next business be after the platform business so kung meron pang next after ng platform business Ano po kaya yon? Ano po kaya yung magiging style ng future business? Okay? So, um, ganito po yung mangyayari. If you own a corporate platform and all advertising revenue is a corporate revenue. But in the future, pag meron kang, the individual owns the platform, sayo yung uh, platform mismo, and the invi individual can make money on that platform. And then magiging individual business owner ka na may-ari din nung platform na yon. Hindi siya corporate, kundi individual business owner. Sa'yo mismo yung platform na yun. Okay, so, in the individual ownership of a platform is expensive. Kang, pag gusto mong magkaroon ng sarili mong platform, mahal po yun, mahal yung kapital niya. So, it's not something a citizen can do. Yung mga normal or ordinary people lang, hindi po nila kayang uh, magkaroon ng platform kasi mahal nga po yung kapital. However, there are things that own or share and monetize personal platform. Pero, meron din, uh, uh, meron po mga platform, personal platform na nag-share ng profit doon sa may-ari ng individual platform na yon. It also have been around since ancient times. Actually po, noon pa pala ang unang panahon, meron ng tinatawag na platform. But we don't call it platform before. Pero ang pangalan niya, hindi platform ang tawag natin. In South Korea or even in the Philippines, call this a multi-level network. This, uh, pero hindi na siya multi-level network, pero tinatawag din siyang officially renamed direct sales. So, yung mga direct sales pala po ay isa ring platform na kung saan yung may-ari ng direct sales na yan, sinashare niya rin po doon sa mga uh, sellers niya, yung ibang profit niya. So, yun po ang tawag din sa person, uh, yung personal platform is direct sale. 
Okay, example of which is this one. A can make a profit from all sales occurring under A. So, example ito si letter A. And then B, C, D, ito sila, yung mga tao dito. Makakakuha po siya ng sales or profit from these people. Okay, now B is the revenue of A and all of the sales generated from the subordinates is a own sales shared so B can create a profit window. So, lahat po ng, uh, ng mga nasa baba po ni letter A, kap, uh, pwede po, pag nag-generate po sila ng sale, ay makakapag-profit din po si letter A. Ganon din si letter B, kung nag-generate po ng sales si C at D, uh, aakyat din po sa kanya yung profit. So, C is the revenue of A and B as well as all the sales generated from its subordinate. Yun nga po, Kapag nag-generate ng sale po si C, D, and, and so on and so forth po, uh, magkakaroon ng profit si, let, si, si B and C, A. So, in other words, A, B, C, D is a member or consumer of this platform. Yung platform na to, member si A, member si B, member si D, si C, member si D, okay? Um, and an owner. Hindi lang sila basta member. They are also individual business owner dito sa platform na to. So, and who can make money on this platform? Aside from they are member, they are individual business owner, pwede rin po silang kumita dito sa platform na ito. Okay? Okay, but in order for the above conditions to be true, there must be five conditions below. So, para po yung ito ay magkakatotoo na bawat isa ay pwedeng kumita, Meron pong limang dapat isaalang-alang dyan. Okay? Meron pong limang kondisyon. Una po, dapat yung platform na yon ay infinite level. O wala siyang uh, hanggang sa walang cut-cut uh, ng level niya, kundi hanggang infinite level. And then, it should be unlimited accumulation. So, ibig sabihin, dapat kahit yung pinaka-last na member na kung bumili, dapat mak makakakuha pa rin ng profit yung doon sa pinakataas and it should be, it should have ceiling limit kailangan may ceiling limit din po yung kitaan hindi lang basta-basta yung mga naunang nag uh, nagmember ay sila na po yung kikita but then yung mga kahit yung mga nahuling nagmember dapat same lang po yung uh, may ceiling limit lahat sila doon po dapat magkikita and then there should uh, wala daw wala daw po dapat registration fee And no monthly maintenance or quota dapat para po talagang kumita lahat yung nandito sa platform na yon. And now, okay, so example, uh, global unlimited accumulation and global infinite level. Uh, para maintindihan po natin mas lalo, ipapaliwanag ko po dito yung uh, kung paano ba nag accumulate So, if all the subordinates of E, so dito si letter E po, have generated a total of 100,000 PV. So, kung example, lahat ng subordinate ni letter E, including si E, nakapag-generate po sila ng 100,000 PV. Okay, all the subordinates of E, D, C, B, A, can receive a payment of 100,000 PV which had no sales capital. Itong 100,000 PV na to na na-generate ng mga subordinate ni letter E, including him or her, kung makakakuha po si letter D, si letter C, si letter B, si letter A ng makaka-accumulate po sila ng 100,000 PV pero wala silang kapital or hindi naman sila bumili pero itong nasa baba nila nag-generate nag, uh, ng sales kahit na ganun, makakakuha pa rin sila ng payment of 100,000 PV uh, dahil sa infinite level, level or unlimited accumulation dahil doon sa infinite level. So, kahit pa ikaw 1 million mo yan na member, basta nag-under sa'yo, pag bumili siya, automatic aakyat yun sa'yo. So, uh, that is what we call infinite level and unlimited accumulation. At ang maganda pa dito, kung global yung company na yon, global siya. So, lahat ng country kung saan meron man yung company na yon, unlimited pa rin. Saan ka pa? Okay? So, Uh, these rules apply to all members, hindi lang kay E, hindi lang kay e at saka niyang subordinates, but lahat po ng members ng platform na yon, ito yung rules niya, unlimited uh, accumulation and infinite level. Now, in the headquarter, even if there is no individual sales, subordinate sales are recognized and the commission is loosened compared to sale. 
Uh, now, uh, for example po, yung kahit si D, wala siyang individual sales or hindi man siya bumili ng araw na yon pero yung mga nandito sa subordinates niya ay nag-generate nag, uh, ng sales, that is still considered, considered na sale pa rin ni letter D. Sale pa rin po niya yon So, ganun po yung nangyayari. Walang magagawa ang headquarter, kundi ibigay pa rin yung kahit walang individual sales, basta under doon sa sayo, uh, is uh, makukuha pa rin po niya. In order to, uh, ngayon, uh, this is called overload. Uh, overload po ang tawag sa ganun. In order to prevent such overload, all companies have created registration fee, monthly maintenance, and face limit. Kasi kung ganun nga ang mangyayari, unlimited level, tapos unlimited global accumulation pa, so maaaring malugi agad yung company, tama po ba? Kasi unlimited eh, kahit hindi ka gumagalaw, pwede kang kumita basta yung mga... Uh, Na, nagja-generate ng se sales under you, gumagalaw sila, kumikita ka, or yung tinatawag nating passive income. Kaya ang ginagawa po ng ibang mga companies, syempre nagkakaroon sila ng registration fee para ma-maintain po nila yung company na yon. Nagkakaroon rin sila ng monthly maintenance and face limit para lang ma-maintain nila yung company at hindi siya malulugi. Okay? So, but now, I would like to introduce you yung mga uh, yung condition na yon ay namit po ng ating company which is Atomy. Atomy has no registration fee. Alam po natin yan na wala pong registration fee ang Atomy. No monthly quota. Walang pressure. Hindi ka ipre-pressure na bumili ka ng monthly na, na products na hindi mo naman kailangan. No face limit. Okay, wala pong uh, unlimited level po siya and infinite level and unlimited accumulation. Ngayon, kung ganito po yung Atomy, Baka po ma pwedeng uh, malugi agad, di po ba? So, ano po yung ginawa nila para maiwasan po yung overload na yon? Then, how did it stop the overload, yung Atomy? Ang ginawa po ni Atomy is, or ng ating CEO, it has made ceiling limit for commission. Meron po siyang ceiling limit na hanggang doon lang dapat nakikitain ng bawat member ng Atomy. So, infinite level and unlimited accumulation are shared. So, yung kanina, yung inexplain ko na, na, ano po, yung ito, na infinite level and unlimited accumulation, nag-share po ang bawat member. But, ceiling limit for commission is made so that one person can earn 5 million pesos in a month lang. So, meron tayong uh, shared, shared po yung mga uh, PVs natin pero may ceiling limit. Kung i-compare natin sa ibang mga companies, yung mga naunang nag-member, sila po yung malaki yung kinikita, million-million po talaga. But in Atomy, nagkaroon po ng ceiling limit, which is 5 million pesos a month. Ngayon, kung kulang pa sa'yo ang 5, pesos, um, uh, 5 million pesos in a month, kung kulang yan sa'yo, hindi ka nararapat dito sa Atomy. Kailangan kumanap ka ng magbibigay sa'yo ng 30 million pesos a month or more than 5 million pesos a month. Kasi hanggang doon lang talaga yung ibibigay ng company para nga naman maiwasan yung pagkalogi. Kasi uh, ibi, yung, kapag sumobra na po yung mga shared na unlimited accumulation mo, binababa po nila doon sa mga nasa baba para yung mga nasa baba ay maipupustro natin pataas. So, in Atomy, whether you started Atomy early or late, all members will meet at 5 million pesos profit. Kahit ngayon ka nagsimula at nauna akong nagsimula pero mas masipag kang mag-share ng produkto, mas masipag kang mag-share sa mga tao. So maaaring ikaw ay mas mauna pang pumunta doon sa ceiling limits which is 5 million pesos per month. Okay? So, and one more about Atomy pa rin po. Atomy gives you the same condition as our headquarter. So, in the private platform business so far, so, katulad po ng mga businesses na nabanggit ko kanina na platform businesses, headquarters and private platform owners were not the same. So, mas malaki pa rin yung percentage ng headquarters or main office kesa yung mga nag upload ng videos if dun sa YouTube. Mas malaki pa rin po yung uh, kanilang nakukuha. For example, eto nga, Facebook or YouTubers won't make money unless they make content or upload videos. Hindi sila pwedeng uh, bigyan ng headquarter ng pera kung hindi naman po sila nag upload ng video. Kikita lang po sila ng pera kung uh, may upload sila at yung in-upload nila ay maraming views 
or maraming uh, subscribers sila. In other words, the head office makes money without any action. Yung head office is kumikita siya kahit hindi man siya nag action Bakit? Meron pa namang ibang nag upload ng video aside from you. So, but the owners of the personal platform belonging to the company can make money without working. So, YouTubers are still considered as active income. Bakit po? Kung hindi sila nag-upload ng magandang content ng video nila, walang manonood, wala rin. So, Kung nag, uh, dapat, kailangan mag-isip ka lagi ng mga content na kailangan mo ilagay. So, it's not an active income. It's not uh, passive income, uh, kundi active income siya kasi kailangan mong mag-upload para lang kumita ka rin po. But, Atomy has an equal condition for headquarter and private platform owners. Yung main office at saka yung mga Atomy members na katulad po natin, meron tayong equal condition. Once you make a consumer, pag nakagawa ka na po ng mga consumers or what we call auto-consumers, auto-consumers are those people na gustong-gusto talaga yung product, nag-member sila, and then every time, Atomy lang yung ginagamit nila or tinatawag natin na atomize na sila kung saan every time na mauubos yung kanilang noodles, hindi sila bibili ng ibang brand kundi bibili uh, mag-order sila online and then bibili ng ng Atomy noodles or vegetarian vegetarian ramen. So, hindi sila nagtutut paste ng iba kundi bibili sila ng uh, Atomy propolis to paste through online. Ngayon pag nakapaggawa ka ng ganun karaming mga uh, consumers po, once you make a consumer, you can take the income through continuous repurchase without selling the products. You don't need to go to that person para magbenta ka lang ng produkto kasi nagawa mo na silang auto-consumer. Bumibili na lang sila sa kanilang bahay and all the points value or PV ng binibili nila ay pasok na sa'yo. Ganon po kaganda si Atomy. Ganon siya ka-equal. So kahit hindi ka gumagalaw, kapag yung mga consumers mong nagawa noon is nag order pa rin online at hindi sila nag-change brand, kundi nag-atomy brand pa rin sila. Kikita ka po talaga sa kanila. So, all you have to do is to make a lot of auto consumers para kahit hindi ka nagbebenta, automatically if they buy, then you will get your commissions from their purchases. So, that is called passive income po. Okay? So, now, kung ang napapanahon ngayon ay mga platform business, okay, ang future is individual platform business. At ang individual platform business, isa na po rito ay ang Atomy. So, there is no term for personal platform business. Presently, platform business is the world. Uh, actually, wala pa namang tinatawag na individual platform business kasi future pa mangyayari pero ginagawa na po ni Atomy. So, ang, ang naririnig pa lang natin ngayon is platform business. Wala pa po tayong naririnig na individual platform business pero inuumpisahan na po natin. In the future, personal platform business will be the trend. Future pa to pero nakatrend na tayo, di po ba? So, Atomy which has a global infinite level, unlimited accumulation, and with a commission ceiling limit, has already begun. Established na po siya sa Korea, year 2009, and in the Philippines po, 2016, so almost four years na po dito sa uh, Philippines ang Atomy na magiging trend in the future. Now, uh, ano pa pong hinihintay natin kundi dapat maging isang member na rin po tayo ng Atomy po. Okay, so uh, lahat ng nabanggit ko po kanina, uh, pag-isipin nyo po, napakaganda po talaga ng mga advantages if you are a member of Atomy. Now, why don't you choose Atomy? If you choose Atomy, then uh, which has including global membership, kasi ano siya eh, global company po siya, which is now open for four, in 14 countries na po siya open. Open na mayroon na siyang 15 million members. Ngayon, if you choose Atomy, then you can own two private platforms, the Atomy Mall and the Adja Mall. So, kung pipiliin natin ang Atomy, hindi lang po iisa yung magiging individual platform business natin. Magkakaroon po tayo ng dalawang platform business, which is yung Atomy Mall, sariling atin po yan, and then yung Adja Mall, sariling atin din po iyon. So, sa panahon po ngayon, kailangan natin maging wise para po... Uh, uh, nasa trend din po tayo and then nasa panahon yung business po natin. So, uh, I wish everyone of you nakapulot po ng uh, aral dito sa mga sinabi ko ngayon. And one thing I want to say is never, never give up. 
So thank you for listening. Again, I'm Lizelle S. Valle, Sharon Rosemaster from Ariel Marikina, Ajaja Center. Thank you so much po.